right, diving right in. You sent over some fascinating stuff on AI in healthcare. Oh, yeah. Looks like a Udemy course called AI in Healthcare. Pretty broad audience they're going for, huh? Yeah, medical pros, researchers, even folks on the business side, it seems. It seems like you're really looking to get a handle on how AI is shaking things up in medicine. Absolutely. And you know what strikes me? This course really zeroes in on how it's being used. Yeah. Like, not just the theory, but how doctors and everyone can actually put these AI tools to work. Right. I see. They've got modules on everything from AI and machine learning basics mm -hmm. to things like big data, NLP, even telemedicine and blockchain. Not messing around. It's a lot to cover. It is. And the way they've set it up, it seems pretty engaging. Oh, yeah. Audiovisual stuff, interactive videos. They clearly want to make it, you know... Make it fun. Yeah, exactly. Make it enjoyable to learn. Now, I'm curious about the specifics. Okay. How is AI actually being used? We hear about diagnostics, but what does that look like in practice? Well, imagine um, an AI looking at a mammogram. Okay. And it spots a tiny tumor, something a human might miss. Wow. That's the power, right? AI can go through tons of data, images, lab results, even genetics to spot patterns. That's incredible. And make predictions so doctors can diagnose things earlier and more accurately. It's like having uh, a superpowered assistant. It really is. So it's not replacing doctors. It's giving them this amazing tool. Exactly. Now, what about personalized treatment? Is AI playing a role there, too? Absolutely. AI can help tailor treatment plans to each patient. Wow. You know, based on their genes, lifestyle, medical history. So it's really personalized. It is. The idea is more effective treatment, fewer side effects. That's amazing. Yeah, it's personalized medicine on a whole new level. And I've heard drug discovery is another area where AI is making a big splash. It is, big time. What's happening there? AI can analyze huge data sets to find promising drug candidates, predict how well they'll work, even streamline clinical trials, so it's potentially speeding up the whole drug discovery process. That's huge, because that process takes forever. Years, millions yep. of dollars, yeah. So AI could get life-saving treatments to people much faster. That's the hope. So we've got AI helping with diagnosis, treatment, and even drug development. It's pretty remarkable. It's a big impact. Now let's talk about the person behind this Udemy course. Okay. The instructor is Yasser Eldershabi. Okay. And his background, it's really impressive. What's he all about? He's not just an academic. He's a VP and regional medical lead at Pfizer. Oh, wow for the Middle East, Russia, and Africa. He's definitely someone who gets the real world side of this. He does, over 20 years in the medical field. Yeah, you can see his dedication to medical education, innovation, it's all over his profile. And what's really interesting, he's got this diverse academic background, MD, MSc in pharmaceutical medicine, Wow. master's in health education, another in medical dietetics and clinical nutrition. He's got it all. And then an MBA on top of that, this guy is not your average course instructor. He's not. He's bridging the gap between medicine and all this new tech. Absolutely. Sounds like he's the perfect person to help healthcare professionals navigate this new world. I think so. And, you know, speaking of navigating this world, yeah. we haven't even touched on one of the most impactful applications. Oh, what's that? Natural language processing or NLP. NLP sounds very technical. It is, but think about all those notes doctors take. Okay. Tons of patient info buried in text. Yeah. NLP can analyze that data, pull out key insights. So it's more than just chatbots and virtual assistants. It is. It's about making sense of all that unstructured data. Exactly. And that can have a huge impact, you know. I don't know. Personalized treatment, identifying potential risks. Oh, wow. It's like having a, another set of eyes constantly scanning for things that could help patients. That's incredible. It really is amazing what it can do. So NLP really helps make sense of all that information now. What about people who don't have easy access to healthcare? Right. Like in rural areas or underserved communities. That's where telemedicine comes in and AI is taking it to a whole new level. Okay. Imagine AI platforms letting people talk to doctors remotely, hmm. get diagnoses, even prescriptions, all from home. That could be life-changing for those who struggle to get good care. Absolutely. No more long drives, waiting lists. It's like having the doctor right there. It is. And think about this. When you combine telemedicine with data from wearables. Okay. Like smartwatches and fitness trackers. Yeah. Doctors can track patients' health in real time. Wow. Intervene earlier, make even more personalized plans. 
It's amazing what's possible now. It is. We've covered a lot here. We have AI helping with diagnosis, treatment, drug discovery, communication, even remote care. It seems like AI is changing everything in healthcare. It really does. And it's important to remember, this field is constantly evolving. Oh, absolutely. New stuff coming out all the time. All the time. So just taking a course isn't enough. No, people need to stay on top of the latest developments. Yeah, reading industry publications, going to conferences, online forums. Gotta stay ahead of the curve. You do, or you'll get left behind. It's fast-paced, but the benefits for patients are huge. They are. So for our listener, who's clearly into AI and healthcare, mm -hmm. what are some key things to keep in mind as they explore this more? Well, the biggest takeaway is AI and healthcare isn't some far-off thing. Right. It's here now, changing how things work in big ways. So it's not just for the future, it's the present. It is, and anyone in the field or even just interested in medicine needs to understand it. So not just for data scientists or tech people? No, nope, it's for everyone involved. And that brings up another point. Lifelong learning is key. Absolutely. AI is moving so fast, the potential is almost limitless. It's exciting, but a little overwhelming too. It can be. That's why deep dives like this are so helpful. I agree. They help us understand these complex topics, get the key insights, so we can feel more informed and ready for whatever comes next. Knowledge is power especially in a field like healthcare. So true. As we wrap up, I want to leave our listener with a question to think about. Okay. We've seen how AI can revolutionize things, mm -hmm. but the future of healthcare isn't just about technology. No, it's about people too. Yeah, finding that balance. Mm -hmm. Technology and human touch. Making sure it's all about, you know, bettering things for the patients. Exactly. It's a partnership, not a replacement. That's a good way to put it. This deep dive, this course, this elder should be guy. Yeah. It's really eye opening. The possibilities are huge. It makes you think about the big picture, right? It does. We talked about AI catching diseases early, personalized treatments, faster drug discovery. Mm -hmm. But what does it all mean for the human side of things? You know what I mean? That's the question, isn't it? Like, what happens when AI takes over the routine stuff? Right. Doctors have more time. Yeah. Does that mean? More meaningful interactions with patients. Tends more focus on empathy, understanding. It's fascinating to think about. A shift not just in how we deliver healthcare, but the whole experience. Yeah, a more human-centered approach, empowered by technology. That's a great point. It's not just about the tech itself. Right. But how we weave it into the human side of things. Exactly. So for our listener, I think we've given them a lot to chew on here. I think so. AI is here. It's powerful. It's changing healthcare in ways we're just starting to grasp. We are. But the future's not set in stone. No. It's up to all of us patients, doctors, researchers, policymakers. We all have a role to play to shape how this technology is used. Absolutely. We have a responsibility to make sure AI serves humanity. Right. Not the other way around. It starts with thinking it through carefully, you know, yeah. making sure we're using it for good. So, to wrap things up, I want to leave our listener with this. Okay. We've explored the potential of AI, but the future of healthcare, it's in our hands. It is. Let's keep asking the big questions, keep learning, keep pushing for a future where technology and humanity work together. A healthier world for everyone. That's the goal. It is. Thanks for joining us on The Deep Dive.